What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out an extension from Fredo 6 that allows you to shear curves upward in SketchUp. Before we get started, I want to take a second to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Cypress Outdoor Builders, Emis, and Mark Valerino. Patreon is most of you know is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. Uh, one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you're looking for a way to support the show, and also a way to check out some new extensions and vote on those, make sure you check that out in the links down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Curvashear. Note that this extension is actually a part of Fredo's Fredo Tools extension. Plugin developer, Fredo6. Plugin cost, it's free. Where can you get it? You can download it from the Sketchication Extension Warehouse. Tool functions. This tool is a fairly simple tool from Fredo 6 designed to help you shear curves in your SketchUp models. This can be useful for many things, but really helps you take curves and shear them upward, which can be especially useful for creation of shapes like ramps. The way it works is that you select a single curve or a closed curve loop then run curve shear to shear the shape up, creating a ramp shape. You can also set both the start and end elevations of your ramp. So if you need your ramp to move up before the curve starts, you can set that as part of your options. Fredo recommends coupling this extension with the skinning application contained within Curveloft in order to create ramps with skins. One thing to note is if you have a curve made up of multiple different edges or multiple curves, you may consider welding them with an extension like Weld in order to create a single curve. Otherwise, you might get some errors. You can also use this tool to shear up single curves or curves that don't form a closed loop. You can also use this to shear up closed curves like a circle. You may need to erase out the edge so that the point isn't touching the vertical line, or you may need to create a little bit of a separation just so the curve loft skinning tool works properly when you create the skin on a shape like this. So that's where I'm going to end this video. It's a very simple extension, but it really does what you need it to do, and there's a lot of interesting applications for it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this something you're interested in? Can you think of some applications for this tool? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.